U.S. President Donald Trump has tested positive for the Wuhan virus. The man who downplayed the threat of the virus, the man who refused to wear a mask, called the disease just another flu, is now infected with the very same virus. Donald Trump is in self-quarantine 31 days before the U.S. presidential election, which raises many questions. What happens to his re-election bid? What happens to his current presidential term? What happens if Trump is incapacitated, and we hope he isn't? If Aini had a political definition, it would be this. Donald Trump testing positive for the Wuhan virus. It reminds me of the TikTok blogger who tested positive after challenging the virus by licking a commode. That happened, yes. Or the priest who tested positive for the Wuhan virus after calling it God's punishment for homosexuality. Most unfortunate. Anyway, back to the latest from the White House. Reactions have poured in from across the world, as have questions. Who takes over if President Trump is incapacitated? What about Joe Biden? Didn't Trump share a stage with Biden just a couple of days ago? Is he at risk too? We'll try and answer all of these questions in the next five minutes. We'll begin with a tweet, the tweet. This is Donald Trump confirming to the world that he and the first lady, Melania Trump, have tested positive for the Wuhan virus and that they will be in quarantine. How did Trump get infected? One of Trump's senior advisors tested positive. Her name is Hope Hicks. She is one of the president's close aides and travels with him regularly. Hicks had accompanied Trump to Cleveland for the presidential debate. She was also seen with Trump and other White House officials earlier this week. None of them had masks on. No surprises there. Trump confirmed the news of Hicks being infected just two hours before he tweeted about his own test results. So what happens next? Trump is currently under self-quarantine. The president's physician, Sean P. Conley, has issued a statement. He says, and I quote, The president and the first lady are both well at this time and they plan to remain at home within the White House during their convalescence. Conley has also said, that Trump will, quote-unquote, continue carrying out his duties without disruption while recovering. Trump is 74 years old. Experts say his age and obesity puts him in the high-risk category, which means there are chances that Trump could show serious symptoms of the Wuhan virus. So what's his status right now? Is Trump showing any symptoms yet? The White House has said that Trump has mild symptoms. I do not want to sound ominous, but there is a very relevant question that we cannot afford to ignore. What happens if Trump becomes seriously ill? The president has the power to invoke Section 3 of the 25th Amendment. In other words, temporarily transfer his power to the vice president, which means Mike Pence becomes the acting president of the United States. Such transfer of power is not new. President Ronald Reagan transferred his power to his deputy in 1985. George W. Bush did it twice in 2002 and 2007. All of these were for medical reasons. So Trump would not be the first U.S. president in history to transfer his power to the vice president in case the need arises. We were told earlier this evening that Pence has tested negative for the Wuhan virus. This is despite coming in contact with Trump recently, which is good news for Donald Trump. I'll tell you why. Because in case Mike Pence, too had tested positive and were to be incapacitated, then the White House, uh, then the Speaker, the House Speaker, would be the next in line of succession. Nancy Pelosi would have become the acting U.S. President in the run-up to the presidential election. Donald Trump has been saved from this horror, at least for now. But there's another scary question staring him in the face. What happens to his re-election uh, bid, his rallies? What happens to the presidential debates? The next one is scheduled 14 days from now. There has been no word on what Trump's election calendar looks like. We shouldn't be surprised if the upcoming debates are cancelled. Meanwhile, reports say that Joe Biden will be taking a test later today. We cannot forget that he recently shared a stage with Donald Trump. Could things have gotten any messier right before the election? In all of Trump's bizarre statements, estimates and contradictions, did he ever consider that he may test positive for the Wuhan virus just 31 days before the presidential election? Take a look at some of the statements that he made in the past few months. The virus. They're working hard. 
Looks like by April, you know, in theory, when it gets a little warmer, it miraculously goes away. It's going to disappear. One day, it's like a miracle. It will disappear. I would like you to speak to the medical doctors to see if there's any way that you can apply light and heat to cure. You know, if you could. And maybe you can, maybe you can't. Again, I say maybe you can, maybe you can't. I'm not a doctor. But I'm like a person that has a good, you know what. Uh, Sir, you're the president. Deborah, have you ever heard of that? Uh, the uh, heat and the light relative to certain viruses, yes, but relative to this virus. And then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or or almost a cleaning because you see it gets on the lungs and it does a tremendous number of the lungs and a lot of good things have come out about the hydroxy a lot of good things have come out i happen to be taking it i happen to be taking it the issue of what happens when you are in france continues to be a school. you're gonna have to take that off please just you can take I'll, it off your your how, how many feet are you away i'll speak a lot louder well if you don't take it off you're very muffled so if you would take it off, it would be a lot easier. I'll, I'll just speak a lot louder. Is that better? It's better, yeah. It's a disease, without question, has more names than any disease in history. <laughs> I can name Kung Flu. I can name 19 different versions of names. Thank you for watching Gravitas on Vion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching. Vion, world is one.